My brother is wanted by Interpol and the FBI. I heard on my TikTok for you page in May 2022. He's on the list of Interpol's red notices, which is the same status Osama bin Laden had. The difference is, is that the charges brought against my brother aren't for terrorism. They're a charge for international parental kidnapping. I was intrigued by this, but people make extraordinary claims on social media all the time. The video goes on to detail how these charges were allegedly bogus, that two different states had issued supposedly contradictory court orders, extraditions had failed, and lawyers and judges had falsified facts to make this mystery man look like a kidnapper. This was my first glimpse into the fascinating and unfortunate story of Chad Howard, and I was determined to learn more. After seeing this video, I thought, there's no way this can be real. As a person with a passion for justice and a belief in the American judicial system, I didn't believe the possibility that the FBI, U.S. Attorney's Office, and Family Courts of Pennsylvania had put a man who did nothing wrong into the middle of an inescapable legal knot. From this point, I followed along on TikTok to learn more. I got in touch with Chad, who goes by Kudzu the Raccoon on TikTok through direct message and eventually we talked on the phone. I learned a lot more about his life, the whole situation with being wanted by the FBI, and how he now resides on the Caribbean island of St. Kitts. We discussed his past career, upbringing, marriages, children, and more, and how he now is in dire need of urgent health care, which he can't get due to being on an Interpol red notice. Here is Chad describing his situation in his own words. I'm for anything and I, I'm not above begging for my life at this point. Right. And it's just, we need somebody who will push to get attention somehow, some way. And that's why I've been trying to build this team is because I can't do it for two reasons. One is I'm sick. It's hard for me to make phone calls. And two, because when I call, they just think I'm some crackpot because the story sounds fucking loony. I know it does. The most unbelievable part of the story is that he has proof for all of the claims that he makes. As Chad told me his story, he was able to back up the claims that he made with court documents as well as medical records. And after over five hours of telephone conversation, I now feel ready to begin to tell Chad's story to the world. Follow along with this podcast, Fugitive State, where I, Chris Grondon, a TikTok user turned amateur investigative journalist, Look into the man who evaded the FBI for over a decade and the legal and interpersonal situations that got him there.